It's Joshua Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 versus the HTC One in this quick look. When it comes to design, this is another battle of sizes as the Galaxy Note 3 is, of course, almost a whole inch larger with its 5.7 inch screen over the 4.7 inch HTC One. While the HTC One makes some headway by adding those boom sound speakers to make up for the size, it is still the smaller phone. The One is the aluminum clad Android smartphone that brought a very well received and refreshing design. What you see is essentially what you get with the HTC One, but what you do get is pretty great. The button layout is pretty classic HTC with the power button up top and the volume rockers on the side, and nothing is removable. One handed operation is definitely more possible with the HTC One compared to the Galaxy Note 3. But then again, the Note 3 was never supposed to be just a one-hand device. After all, it comes with the S Pen that facilitates two-handed operation. But design-wise, we are seeing a new philosophy with the Note line in this third iteration, mainly in the new material choice. It's a point you're going to hear a lot, but that textured plastic really is so much better than the fingerprint-prone and slippery glossy plastic. The 5.7-inch screen, especially with those thinner bezels, is a joy to use and benefits greatly from S Pen usage. These 1080p displays both represent their companies very well. The Super AMOLED 5.7-inch screen brings everything the Galaxy S4 brought in its screen. High saturation, great colors, and adequate brightness. The HTC One, on the other hand, has a LCD display that might not be as vibrant or bright, but it handles the darker sense you very well. Again, it's a battle of sizes. If you want the bigger screen for all media, just know what you have to go through with the Note 3's overall larger size. Otherwise, the HTC One has the smaller screen and form factor on lock. Performance does favor the later released Note 3, as it has the Snapdragon 800 and Adreno 330 over the Snapdragon 600 and the Adreno 320 of the HTC One. Performance is given a big increase, but while the Note might have a little bit of an edge here, performance on both phones is still very good. The Note 3 benefits from its plastic design by having a removable back, allowing it a replaceable 3200 mAh battery and expandable memory. Its main hardware trump card is obviously that S Pen. The HTC One doesn't allow you to swap its 2300 mAh battery nor expand its memory, but in hardware, you do get the boom sound speakers that are honestly so much better than the vast majority of built-in speakers available elsewhere. In the camera department, the Note 3 takes all of the additions that the Galaxy S4 had and brings them to its own 13 megapixel shooter. Everything from drama to eraser modes are included here. Meanwhile, the HTC One has the four ultra pixels for enhancing primarily low light performance, but also includes Zoe for elegantly putting them together. It's a battle very much like the one the HTC One and the Galaxy S4 had, and the winner depends on your photography needs. In software, TouchWiz is Samsung's way of adding in loads of new functionality to the typical Android experience. Everything from air gestures to S Pen functions bolster the experience. In this case, the S Pen is the gateway to using the Note 3 to its greatest potential and is a pretty beloved addition. HTC's additions in the Sense UI involve primarily the Blink Feed, the second home screen that consolidates news and social media outlets in a very elegant fashion. When you need to get updated, it's there for you, but a more classical Android experience is just a swipe away. TouchWiz is the incredible incredibly robust experience while Sense keeps things simpler and more classical. And so, there you have it. The Note 3 is the behemoth of a device, but the smaller and simpler HTC One is definitely still able to hold its own. Size, function, and practicality dictate this battle. Stay tuned for more Note 3 at IFA in Berlin and beyond here at Android Authority, your source for all things Android.